start. My name is Radon Bacic and coming from a company called GitLab.com from San Francisco, US. And also thanks to Ljubiša Bojic, we create and ignite one idea about how to make your life easier. And the main idea for us is we'll try to be very, very short with this speech is about to create a data highway so for researchers and social scientists. Well, I want to start to see what is it in and what is this. We want to create a fully automated one-stop shop for scientists to get the data they when they need, what they need, actually with the criteria they need. Also, it's a concept easily to understand the points of data and they call the sentiment messages of the data. This tool is based on a couple of principles to be collaborative, shareable, and open data. Of course, the goal is to make it much easier and easy to understand and visually present as a results. And you should ask, what is in it for me? And I would say, if you're one of this kind, scientist, researcher, data enthusiast, journalist, or just curious person, probably we have something for you. You can define your own needs, your own filters. What, when, and how you want to get when you want to get the data from us and our platform. This tool will automatically help you to leverage your research because we will provide you everything you need and do the heavy lifting for you. It's fully supported or will be fully supported with sentiment analysis. And it's immediately available and almost can scale infinitely up to your needs. How it's made, we use commodity components to be very low cost and stay cost efficient and using clouds for a strategy. I just follow up on this previous talk and previous panel. It's already explained what the cloud is. And also, we try to using open source framework tools and some academic tools for researching. Also, it can be easily orchestrated, all components, easily replaced and extended. So it's up to you to avoid any vendor lock when it comes to the way how you want to digest and get the data. Why we are doing this? I think it's better now, probably. It's a comprehensive tool or platform to try to sort out your problems because what we notified, especially from Social theory perspective is you have a problem to get the data, clean the data, visualize and use the data. And of course, to understand the data. As I'm a tech guy, we try to do a good mixture of technologies to get everything you need and when you need. And this is one-stop shop for all kind of formal data you need. It's ready to eat and out of the box solution. Who need this? Non-tech experts, social scientists, as I said, data curious guys, enthusiastic to get everything they need very quickly and very easy. People who is trusted, fast, reliable data, like journalists, to check fake news, real news, and sentiment. Lazy and impatient persons like me who want to have tailor-made outcome based on their needs. How this will leverage my research? It's a minimal ramp time. You have out-of-the-box platform, log in, define what you need, and you will get the results almost immediately. It's a platform independent, as I said, so you have no vendor lock-in. You can choose a tool by your choice, but it's up to producer of the platform. They will define everything they need. Of course, we use API approach, so actually you can connect from some outer tools, so it's not isolated, it's collaborative and trusted data, as I already mentioned. You can define parameters criteria, you can define output, you can define the time when you need this data, and you can define the format of the data. So as I can say, you can use it for your fortune processing. How it's working? We have five stages here. Extract, load, transform, sentiment, and present. This is a full life cycle of your data and your criteria. As the first idea is the source is using as a Twitter, 
and Twark2 libraries. It's academic open source library based and made by in Python. You can use all of your data defined by your tags, username, any important event in design time range to move the data in. As I said, source is just a Twitter for now. Twark2 library, academic research, open source, really great stuff. Easily provide you needs. What, when, who, and how much. Let's search this young guy. This is our example. We try with Mr. Ljubiš Obojic. He's here. And we get the data, everything about him. Then we focus on something more serious, like Mr. Djokovic. And that saga was, I think, 12 months ago or something similar. And we say, OK, we want to get archive data, start and then time, and we'll want to go deep into the archive. And give me everything regarding the Djokovic or Djokovic saga, or Noah Djokovic, etc. So this is a good way you can define criteria. Of course, after that we load the data, and to support something called Lambda architecture in the tech world. It means you can get the data in streaming fashion or batch fashion. Do you need data right now? Or you can wait a bit, one hour, one day, one week, whatever. This is supported by Lambda architecture. And of course, this is a flexible way to have one size fits all for all your needs. Whoop. Transformation, as I said, using Python, using a format and sentiment you want. Of course, in natural, you will not get the full readable data for humans, and then we do some secret sauce and spices to get it more readable for human beings. And of course, we enrich the data, bring more value into it, like stuff, geocoding, filtering, get more context, or join the data we download with the data you already have and you already need. Storing is a typical cloud-based approach with really large set of data you want to store in very minimal cost. And of course, no lie, you can really scale it up to infinite. You can get the data in milliseconds, but for real. And no cost of installation, everything somewhere in the cloud. And of course, using SQL or any other, other standard, you can easily switch the platform you need. So you're not logged in. As I said here, easy to replace and extend components. This is very important. I have not enough time now to explain in details how this is going. But you have out-of-the-box tools and libraries. You get the context labels to your data before you present all of them. And using well-known AI tool to get the sentiment. So we just actually assembly the components already exist on the market or open source sky to get what we need. And we want or try to give the meaning of the data and make your life easier so you get everything served on the plate. You can do a further analysis or just can, let's say, analyze and read the data. Here, exposing one example, like, okay, you have one sentence and what is most significant label or feeling when it comes to that sentence. That tool will do that for you. Decoding the context of sentiment, provide clean, readable results at the moment. Presentation, of course, personally, I'm a visual guy. For me, it's much, much easier to have visual data and expose in a visual fashion. There are plenty of open source tools, tools of the market, commercial tools you can do. It's by up to you because you can easily connect with the well-known storage engines. Here, a couple of examples about don't speak too much. Just show me the result. You can have any kind of graph for your data or export the data in the format you need or you want or it's required by your other applications. Of course, quick results can be exposure because here there is one example with Burek. Like, okay, I put the ingredients I have, give me a receipt for my favorite meal or favorite dish. And answer is Burek here. Shareable option, as I said, the most important thing is about collaboration and communication. And this is the official way using well-known formats and standards to connect your application and your needs with third-party providers and, uh, and platforms. So you can choose the weapon by your choice. And at the end, for us, Mr. Boyce and myself, this was an idea, what is this? This is kind of hamburger, ready to eat for you. You don't know what the ingredients are inside, but you know it's tasty and it's useful for you, especially if you're starving. 
And I want to say thank you. I hope I wrap up everything in 10 minutes. There are much more options or discussion can be started on this platform. But for now, just to give you spice and ignite the conversation. Thanks a lot and have a great time on conferences.